everyone, Lucy here from Learn with Lucy. Today I'm in Photoshop and I'm going to do a quick run through for you on how to change your character and your line spacing within Photoshop. So what we're going to do is we're going to show the character properties box that's going to let us make these settings. So I'm going to be clicking on window and then properties and that's going to bring up the type layer properties over here which is what we're going to be using. So I'm just going to highlight one of my lines. So this VA button over here with the horizontal line, that's what's going to make our space in between our letters. So at the moment it's set to zero, so that's just the normal font over here. If I change this to 50, you'll see it adds a bit of space between the letters. 100, even more, and let's go 200. And you can see here that that's made a bit of space. In this one here I'm going to do negative, so this is how you make the letters closer together. So if we did negative 20, it's going to bring them in. Let's go negative 50, and they're even closer together. To change the line space in between two lines, that is this button over here, which has the two A's and a line with arrows over here. So if we change that for example, to make it 270, that's going to make the gap between the lines a lot bigger. And if we go 20, it then pushes them on top of each other. So that's how you play with the spacing in between your characters and your lines within Photoshop. So let's just make this readable again. And we'll just put that back to 100. Actually, let's go 200 and we'll make that readable again. So that's how you do that in Photoshop. There's also other text properties that you can do. If you click Advanced, you can then make it bold. So even if the font that you're using doesn't have a bold option, this will enable you to make the text bold. And you can also click this button here, which makes it capital letters. And then finally, you've got this button here, which makes it capital letters, but a bit smaller. So as an example, I've just opened up the Photoshop document that I made my YouTube preview photo in um, and I'm going to show you how I've used those settings to make this over here. So by changing the size, this is all the same font by the way, um, by changing the size of the text and the settings that we spoke about earlier, I've been able to make them all look like they're the same span. Of the page. So here we've got size 48 and our span is 75 and our spacing in between the lines is 30. So in this one I've dropped it down to 36 and the span's 50 to make it line up and this one down to 30 with no spacing in between. This one's 30 with 50 spacing and then we've got 36 with 75 spacing. So using those two settings I was able to make this document look like this. Thanks for listening. Don't forget to subscribe.